This is an extract from A Useful Guide to Hypnosis, published by Pansophix. Self-hypnosis. One of the easiest ways to learn about self-hypnosis and to develop your overall hypnotic abilities is to take each of the sections of this ebook, prepare a small script or a four, small series of words, record them, and then listen to them yourself to see what impact they have on you. After you've seen what impact they have on you, record another version, but changing it slightly and changing it in a way so that it will have more impact on you. So you're continually refining it so that you are able to test the effectiveness on yourself. And that in turn will enable you to access deeper and different states. One of the things that will make you a much better hypnotist, and we all have this ability anyway at some level before we start, is that our ability to go into deeper states actually makes it much easier for us to help other people to go into those states. Also be aware what works for me or what works for you may not work for everybody else. We are all unique. We have, there are different keys for each of us for unlocking our vast unconscious abilities. By starting to learn what works with us, by fine tuning it so it becomes much more effective, gives us a plan, gives us a methodology for working out how we can help other people unlock their own abilities by using different approaches and different words. What I've done in this segment is taken all the basic ideas of the ebook, put them together in one recording, and it will give you an idea of what it might be like if you put it, put it all together. However, the point I want to make to you in its raw form, it may in fact work very, very, very well for you. Or it may not work for you. But both areas are learnings, because even if it works, you can improve it. And if it doesn't work, you know you have something to change to come up with something that will work for you. However, please find yourself either sitting or lying. Please be ready to spend 15, 20 minutes with yourself, developing your own skills and potential. And this time, as you listen to my words, if what I say in some way jars or doesn't work for you, feel capable of changing it on the fly. If I say something like, go deeper, 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 deeper. And the last thing you want to do there is go deeper because you may want to go up, rising, and rising. Feel comfortable in changing the meaning of my words on the fly. Because even if you were just to start doing that, you're again developing one of those skills that you would be tremendously useful when you work with other people. Because you can react in real time to how they're reacting and change what you say or change your rhythm or change the speed at which you speak in real time. So put yourself in that position where you could relax really easily. Have a stretch. That's right. Oh, have a real stretch. So when you finish the stretch, you end up in that posture where you could go into, if you chose, that really relaxed, delightful state. Take a deep breath. And when you breathe out, just let yourself begin to relax and soften. Now, put your awareness on both of your hands. And I want you to decide which hand is warmer or cooler than the other. Because normally one hand is warmer or cooler than the other. 
And whatever you decide, I want you to focus on the hand that's cooler and focus on the sensations of the hand. And as you focus on the sensations of the hand, I want you to easily, without any effort, just let that hand relax. Now I want you to focus on the other hand. And as you focus and become aware of the sensations in that hand, I want you to let that hand relax and soften. Come to notice again that you're listening to what I say. And you can notice that I do pause. And every time I pause, consciously or unconsciously, use that as a reason to relax that little bit further. Now I want you to imagine looking at a relaxing picture. Just imagine a picture frame with a really pleasant, stimulating, and yet relaxing picture in front of you. Take however long you need to fill the details of that picture in, but as you notice those colours, as you notice those shapes, just let yourself drift into that delightful, relaxing state. Now come back to the feelings in both of your hands. And as you compare the feelings in both hands, you can easily let yourself relax that little bit more. But let the feeling of relaxation gently and delightfully come up both arms to your shoulders. Any tension that you had in your shoulders, just let it relax. Feel the top of your head softening. Just let it go and relax. Now I want that relaxation to gently flow down the rest of your body. Let your chest relax. Let your stomach soften. Be aware of the relaxation through your knees. Be aware of the sensations in your feet. Whatever they are, just be aware of the sensations in your feet. And if there is any tension there, enjoyably let it fade. That's right. Now I want you to imagine that you're looking at a lake, a really attractive lake, a lake that's very deep and yet very peaceful. And be aware of the rhythm of movement on the top of the surface of that lake, how the water may be lapsed on the shore. And again, imagining the lake, I want you to take a breath and just imagine the smells around the lake. That's right. And whatever they are, find some way of helping them let you soften. Now, I want you to go easily and comfortably, comfortably and easily, down deeper, deeper down. Enjoying more, more enjoying. Feeling good, good feeling. Glistening well, well glistening. Learning more, more learning. Enjoyable learnings, learnings enjoyable. Now, I just want you to imagine, just imagine a really beautiful mountain. It's still weather. And I want you to imagine that you're on the top of the mountain and that you have a perfectly safe and secure way of gliding or skiing or tobogganing down that mountain in an absolutely safe and serene way. And I want yourself just to imagine gently going down the mountain, seeing whatever you see, hearing what you hear, feeling what you fear, feeling what you feel. And as you go down that mountain, I want you to be aware that every minute that you flow down, you go deeper and deeper and deeper now, now deeper. 
And should you get halfway down that mountain into that really deep, relaxed, comfortable state where you are aware that you are connected with those things that are important to you. That's right. And as you're aware of the sensations in this place, I want you to be aware that you're continually learning how to do these things better. That you're going to review, maybe as you sleep and dream tonight, or maybe as you sleep and dream over the next few days, you will continually and easily review what you've done and continually find ways of improving it so that you can relax deeper, so that you can soften more, so that you can get into touch with all your unconscious abilities more easily and with greater contact and with that greater influence. And you'll continue to keep exploring new ways of going to those states that are really useful to you. And as you do so, you will find new ways of helping those people around you, sometimes consciously, sometimes unconsciously. But you'll find that intuitively, when it's right to do so, you will be able to connect more. And at times when it's not appropriate to connect, you will be able to automatically, intuitively connect less. And your unconscious mind, which is close enough to hear all those things that are useful to you and take on board all those things that are useful to you while leaving everything else to the side, are already making those changes that means that you will go forward in that positive, enjoyable, powerful direction in the future. Now, I want you to imagine over the next days or weeks, putting your own plan of what you're going to do consciously to aid your development in some aspect of your life. It could be about hypnosis, could be about anything else. But I want you to choose in an unconscious way a number of milestones and a number of actions that you will take at appropriate and safe times for you that will help you in a, in a quiet but dramatic way achieve those things that you want to achieve that will benefit you and those people around you. And just spend a few minutes comfortably and easily imagining yourself taking that action. Taking some small but exciting steps in the future that will enable you to reach your goals in a really good and positive way. And when you have made that commitment at that deep level to do those things that are genuinely useful to you, and made any changes inside that will ensure that happens in an enjoyable and positive way. I want you to choose to come back. And when I count from three to one, come back, open your eyes, ready to have a really, really pleasant time. Three, two, one. And when you're ready, open your eyes, remembering to find yourself enjoying all those things in the future. Thank you. This is NLP trainer and business coach, Michael Beale, thanking you very much for listening and reminding you that what you have just heard is an extract from A Useful Guide to Hypnosis, published by Pansophix. P-A-N-S-O-P-H-I-X. Thank you.